In the previous episode, we got very close to becoming the tournament champion. We won more top gear from tournaments and gang fights, and all three companions are now above 150 one-handed skill. Yeah, everybody's above 50%. I think that's good enough to move on. And, oh, interesting. Did we just forget, forget about this guy and not put anything in? I, I don't... Hmm. I didn't realize he had gained that many levels. So we get two to spend. I think we'll probably put it into athletics and then pole arm. I guess we can do them evenly or just do all athletics first. That's probably going to be pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. So that gives us another 60. So it puts us at 125. And as far as perks go, I don't think it really matters too much on most of these. We'll do the, we the melee weapon damage. He'll probably have a shield most of the time. And of course, the charge damage. I think that's the right pick. Now, how are we doing on our learning? We're at 27%. Yeah, this thing is really slow. It, but I mean, by the time we get it, we're not going to need it anymore. We're not really doing tournaments. So that probably could use a little bit of adjustment on the, the mod side. All right, nobody in the tavern. Well, let's keep moving. No quests here, but there is a tournament. Lamilla shoulders. Yeah, we, we need shoulders. We are definitely lacking in that. 40 armor is not bad. Not much to note on that one. We will gladly take the shoulder piece, though. Actually, it is an upgrade for us. Looking a bit like a samurai there almost. Yeah, it's upgrades all the way down. I don't think this is civilian. I don't think we can use that one, but let's check. Yeah, we can't. No, but we can sell it. 169. Yeah, let's check and see. Oh man, you got some teeth on you, don't you? What a weird lady. They're still not at war with anybody. Interesting. And the North still owns that. Oh, uh, these are all supposed to be, I think, the North. Yeah, it looks like the south is encroaching over here. Cut these off. Actually, they took Dinar Castle and Kesar Castle, too. I didn't realize they took that. I thought it was just Balticon. Needs recruits and fencing stolen goods. Not what we're going to take, and there's no um, tournament here, so let's keep moving. Sibir and Varnovopol. So it is going to be worth our time going over there. Do both of those. Nice. So they actually have the Bounty Hunter quest here, too. So we'll, we'll do the arena, and we'll do the quest. And it's a... It's a mailed crown, so we can upgrade our helmet, hopefully. Get back to something that's a bit sturgeon. Oh, 105. That's really, really strong. I think our current one's at like 90-something. 90 98, maybe. And we're using beautiful Dane axes here. Love fighting with axes. Two-handed ones, I mean. Not, not the one-handed so much. Pretty easy. Glad to see we had some two-handed weapons in there, too. Yep, we can finally get back to our roots. Look at that. Gold-plated and everything. Or bronze. Ah, whatever it is. Face isn't covered, but the neck is... Front and back neck are, are definitely covered. Yeah, and once again, we'll just keep upgrading. Get rid of the, the, the lesser. So we're going to make 3,200. This town's got 517k, so no problem there. Yeah, we will take the bounty hunter quest. Up there, how much time do we have? Five day. Oh no, that one's thirty days. We're, we should be fine. Let's go do this tournament. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start getting some good sturgeon equipment here. I think this will be a good chess piece for us. Yeah. Oh no, we got one tapped. Oh come on, get him blue, get him blue. No, oh we missed our freaking chess piece. Damn, that sucks. We got hit in the face for 160 damage. That's insane, man. So I guess it just goes to show you still got vulnerabilities even with really good armor. It must have been to the face and not the head. But on the bright side, we kept out writing. We got 125 on the pull arm. Now this is between increasing your speed damage with pull arms while mounted or increasing damage with pull arms against mounts. This one is still good while mounted because even while you're mounted, you still do plus 70% damage to mounts. So you don't, you don't have to be on foot for this if I re remember my testing. I said we were going to stick to the theme, so we'll stick to the theme. Right, let's head up to that uh, bandit hideout and take it out. Perfect timing. Nice, it's the new, the new map. There's the backup. Oh, man. 
swarmed. It's actually a respectable amount of troops. Oh, I didn't mean to kick you, sorry. <laughs> the shield wall. Try and take him out. Oh, man. Not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. We just need to get a couple flanking hits. I put the pressure so we can get in there. This map is pretty big. I mean, I know I looked at it when we did the patch notes and I played it a couple times. I don't remember it being this big. Alright, time for the duel. We'll probably pull out the, uh, the mace. Yeah, let's use the two-handed mace. Especially since it's just going to drop this guy. It destroys his, his stamina. Oh, I destroyed ours. <laughs> there we go. Got him while he was standing. Yeah, our leveling progression has slowed down quite a bit. But we're still we're still in decent shape. Ooh, we got a masterwork finally. Tapered blade, so it's not really a great one, but it should be maybe an upgrade for someone. Interesting, so this is not. So we picked up another 3k for that. We're almost to 40,000. And these prisoners aren't worth anything here, so we'll probably hang on to them. Yeah, slave population minus 2.7. The other town where we made good money at, it was like 0.1, 0 0.1 something. All right, back at Tile, let's see what we can do. I think we can sell pretty much all of this. Ooh, let's get rid of the Wicker Shield, and we'll keep the Northern Round Shield for whoever we're bringing on board next. Yeah, 2,600 dinars. Pretty good profit, considering we already made three. Now, before we forget, let's go ahead and sell off these prisoners. And I'm kind of curious. So we get 117 for Tier 1, Tier 4. Yeah, they're all the same. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, we could just farm a bunch of tier ones and sell them for a pretty good amount uh oh interesting let's go talk to helga hexa rev so she's actually a surgeon and i know we've been talking about getting a surgeon 2400 we'll definitely take that we've got tons of money we're not really concerned too much about that although the wage is a concern why does she cost 5.9 she should still be level one yeah everybody's set at level one she does have a little bit of one-handed we had to scale back some of the skills so that we can pump up the medicine so and let's check out her gear yeah she's not gonna have much but good thing we did save a few things for her and we can give her the shield as well so she'll at least start with something we'll give her a pole arm let's go ahead and buy one for her right quick yeah nothing fancy 500 dinars to at least give her something she can use to defend against Cav if we, well, or while well, she's on Cav, rather. Yeah, speaking of which, we do need to get, oh, and she's got a mule already. So we'll add that to the pile. A Sturgeon native. Yeah, that's obviously the choice, and there's no way we're spending six grand on your, your horse armor, so I guess we'll have to hold off on that. Anything else we can sell? Uh, let's get rid of, she's got a little upgrade there. Let's sell everything else interesting okay so she doesn't need that we don't need that and let's lock this this is her civilian outfit yeah now we can actually give her the saddle that she had on her civilian outfit so that's fine at least she'll have a saddle to ride only cost us 645 plus the 24 so about three grand all in to to recruit her so we're up to five now we can we can take on a little bit bigger parties we do need to get her let's see shoulder and arm guards because those are exposed right now she's supposed to be more of a you know, support role. So she's not going to be the best at melee and all that, but we can, we can still help her out quite a bit. Yeah. And here we see waterfront with six, especially since we have five, I think we can take this on. And I think it's a fair fight, especially since we've got mostly shields. So waterfront and, or backstreet, either of those would be acceptable. Yeah. Waterfront is right behind us. We'll see. Hopefully there's three. No, there's only two. Not a big deal. All right, let's get this over with. Alright, get at him. Look at that. Oh. 
Oh man, that was brutal. It's a good look at shield. I mean, it says it's a small shield, but it actually looks pretty big, especially in a civilian setting. All right, five. So it's a five on five. That's a fair fight. I mean, it's not because we have shields and they won't, but. All right, let's stay on this side. We got to protect Helga. We want to make sure she doesn't get completely destroyed here. And we'll just play a little bit defensive. Make sure these guys don't get flanked. Yeah, look at that. They're scared. They're like, we don't know what to do against these shields. Back off. All right, Helga, get him, get him. Oh, she smacked him. <laughs> All right. Get in there. Put some hurt on him. Kick this guy in the back. <laughs> Serve him up on a platter. So she didn't get a kill, but she did smack somebody, so she'll get a little XP for that. Nice. So we'll have a few things for her. Actually, let's go equip that. And we could swap out. Let's see, where are you? We could give her this Morning Star. Actually, we have some other people that probably should get it first. Yeah, I think Bjorn should probably get the next one. Rigva actually does have pretty good one-handed as well. So we'll give him that. It's a little better. Doesn't look like... Yeah, these are the exact same. So we can just smelt or sell that if we wanted to. And I did actually forget to check her civilian outfit. So she does get a little bit better gear. Uh, we should probably get her a shield too for the civilian since everybody's, everybody's already got that. They don't sell them here. Okay, we'll have to go somewhere else for that. Uh, let's take out the other one. Let's go back street. Actually, this one was really close to, I think, back street as well. Man, this snowstorm is pretty brutal. It makes sense we're on the top of the hill though. This is one of the new maps that they added in the in the release patch. Really, really gorgeous city. Looks pretty cool with the, the snowstorm as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even hear him swing, man. That was so fast. I mean, we one tapped our guy. I guess he must have done it at the exact same time. Yeah, we timed out of that, that quest that we, we weren't going to lose money on. I don't really need, I don't think we need relations for any of that. So kind of wasted. We are outnumbered by one, but we have a shield wall, so we should be just fine. And I did like this little barrel seem to split them up so that we'll stay behind the barrel. All right, let's do the same thing. Make sure she doesn't get a flank on anybody. Ooh. Oh, Helga is getting after it. All right, Adam. Oh, oh, yeah, she hit him a couple times. Yeah, she didn't get any kills, but again, she smacked people pretty hard. Yeah, nothing too big here, but I think we'll get shoulders at least. Oh, shoulders and boots. And a little better handguards. And before we go, let's sell some stuff because I think we've got quite a bit. Uh, we don't need as many apples. And then we've got a ton of junk gear right here. Let's just do a quick sweep. Yeah, no upgrades there. So we'll sell all that. And do we have charcoal? No, we've got hardwood. Uh, I kind of want to smelt that down. It's only worth, I think it's at 150. So that's fine. All right, sweet. Our job here is done. Let's keep moving. I want to find possibly some people in, in the wild. Maybe we can fight a pack of like 10 or 12 or something, something bigger. I think we can take on bigger groups. And why don't we look for a shield before we head off to the next one? Yeah, they have them here. Beautiful. 500. We'll add another shield to our uh, a civilian fight shield wall. And there's, yeah, we can do some gang fights here. Let's do clearing. This is a guy up top and a guy below. We'll just start this. We don't need to wait for or back up, I don't think. Actually, you can handle this one, Ragnarok. Get him, get him. Oh. How do you... <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, how do you miss him when they're on the floor? But I do that all the time, so I get it. I guess even the AI does it. Yeah, again, five on six, I think we should be fine. Especially we got another shield added to the uh, to the wall. Let's move up just a little bit. Now, they shouldn't be able to push on that side too hard. Oh, somebody got hit. All right, Trigva went down. Ooh, Helga got actually a couple there. Interesting. So, yeah, Trigva went down. Helga got three. Talk about a turnaround. Bjorn with two and Ragnvald with one. Interesting. I wonder how they... I bet you he was probably focused on, on a target that wasn't attacking at that time. And then, yeah, got, you got greedy. Uh, let's upgrade her civilian outfit more than anything else. Because I feel like we're going to be using mostly polearm once we're outside of civilian outfits. And then the one-handed in, in towns and stuff. So that should be fine. And we can smelt this down again. Let's do that. we got to wait a little bit for what's-his-face to get back up anyway. So 
And everything else is not an upgrade. Yeah, that's right, because we saved the chest piece. I was going to say, this one seems pretty decent, but it'll sell for a little bit at least. So 2300. We're above 40k. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. Now, can we... We can serve as guard while we're waiting, so that's good. We'll, we'll earn enough money to at least pay for our wages. All right, there we go. Back on your feet. Big vote with 24%. Oh, you know what we forgot to do also is make... And this, this could have been a, a pretty big mistake. We need to assign our surgeon, which is going to be Helga. So that, that'll help. Yeah, healing rate, healing rate of troops, and survival chance. So we'll have less chance of, of people dying in, in battles like that. So luckily he didn't die, but we got to make sure that it doesn't happen. And Bjorn with two, two level ups. So we got to figure out where we're going to put this. I think he's the only one, right? Yeah, let's just focus on him. So we could do either athletics or polearm. Polearm would be nice because we are doing a little bit of mounted. He's actually got some throwing. Throwing seems to be doing okay. In athletics or riding, either of these would probably make good sense. Athletics is nice because it does increase your posture. And posture does affect their combat as well. They'll be able to stay on their feet a bit longer. Yeah, I don't know which one's more important here, to be honest. This is a, a tough choice. Even riding is important too because they are doing a lot of mounted combat outside. Let's go with athletics. Yeah, because they still have posture while they're mounted, so let's do that. So that adds another 60. That'll put us at 125 there. There we go. So we we gave him these perks. Not that many of these matter. Extra damage with melee and then the charge damage in case he ever gets dehorsed. All right, we're in decent shape. We could wait a little bit longer to heal up. I don't know that it's that important. I think we should be okay. Actually, let's see if there's a tournament in the area. We do need to... We need to keep leveling up some gear and getting ready for the next people that we're going to hire. Chikand, beautiful. We were heading there anyways. All right, what do we got? Spangle Helm. I think we have a decent helmet for, for everybody, but that's fine. We could always save it for the next person. Yeah, the bedding is terrible, man. It looks like the armor does take damage over time. So I'm wondering if that reduces its effectiveness if you take too many hits. That that's a new thing. I wonder if that's open armory or something else. It was not a, not that I remember. I don't think it was an RBM. Right, we got our helmet. We got eight renown out of that. We're actually almost a tier th clan tier three already. That was really fast. We're not even two years into the game, and with riding, we're not doing any mounted uh, archery or you know throwing javelins or anything. So we're gonna use sweeping winds. It'll give us a little bit of extra speed in in campaign and also on the battlefield. Sweeping winds 0.06. Not a lot, but I guess it all adds up. Now there's some stuff here. There's seven and eight. We could probably take both of those on, although we do still have somebody that's kind of injured. So it's a little bit of a risk. Let's go and serve as a guard. All right, you improved your full arm skill during your current action. Interesting. So you, you actually get skills while you're serving as a guard because I don't think we've ever used a bow. I know for sure we haven't used a crossbow. So I think it it just kind of RNG gives you skills while you serve. Let's try it again. Yeah, there you go. Crossbow. Not that that helps us at all, but you know, and like I said, it's enough to at least cover the daily wages. It's an eight hour shift. You get, you know, 24 hours, so it's 24, so 240. And we're only spending about 60 per day on wages. So you actually make a profit doing that while we're waiting to heal up. I think we're probably good enough because we're going to get 20% while we're waiting for the, uh, the one day tick uh, backstreet waterfront. Honestly, we could probably even do clearing. It's 10, but I don't know. Yeah, let's just stick to Backstreet and Waterfront for now. And there's actually three people here, so we got to be a little bit more cautious. If we can take one out right off the rip. Perfect. All right, let's take this. We can 1v1 this guy and then tag team on this one. And Ragenvald took a little bit of a hit, but, you know, he's got the Iron Skull, so it doesn't really matter too much. He can weather the storm. How many? Six. So we're only outnumbered by one. Let's check just to make sure nobody leveled up. Nice. Helga actually did. So we can put that into one-handed or athletics. I think one-handed is probably a bit more important. Let's do that. All right, here we go. We've been here before. We'll do it again. There we go. Okay, we're getting flanked on this side. Let's try and distract him a little bit. All right, we should be able to charge him now. Nice. Bjorn with the three, he's been getting a lot of kills. I think he might, he, he's just about ready for a nickname, I think. All right, so somebody had suggested when somebody gets at least a dozen kills, we, we rename them with the uh, the dozen. So Bjorn the dozen, you've officially killed enough people. You probably actually killed dozens. We could probably put an S on there, <laughs> but that's okay. We won't make you look like a psychopath yet. Just a stone cold killer. And with that, 
No extra level ups, but again, we have pretty good combat skills. I think we can take on a seven. Let's go back street and see. All right, there's only two here, which means we're probably going to be outnumbered by two when we get into the actual fight. All right, get him. He's, he's attacking me. Help. Not really surprised. Oh, Ragnvald gained a, a one-handed, so he's at 126. So he is still leveling up. It's just going to be a slow process, but like I said, at least we have a little bit of a base to go off of rather than starting from zero, you know? And actually only outnumbered by one. Okay, so same scenario. And I'm kind of curious of one thing. Did I mess something up? Oh, you know, it was athletics that he gained. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure his one-handed was already at 150, but it was his athletics that, that gained one. Yeah, Ragenveld is really, really turning into a monster. Wait, did we we get our beard? We did. Nice. We I didn't even realize we got our beard. So we look like a man now, finally. A man of... I think you need to be at least 19 or 20. <laughs> uh, man... That's some pretty early beard, beardage. I think I was in my, my early 30s before I got my actual beard rather than just some random stubbles. All right, let's, uh... All right, I think they're doing a hell of a job. I want to see how they do. Oh, you took, took a big hit. Oh, man, that was such a lucky chamber. Who is that? Ragnvad was actually attacking somebody else. Chamber blocked the guy behind him. That was really cool. Trigva with three. Everybody else got one. Pretty good. And we hit 100 on our two-handed. That'll come in handy. Oh, we should for sure have some upgrades. Probably, yeah, I was going to say Helga's got to have something in there. And then I think we'll probably have some for civilian as well. A little bit there. Oh, we forgot to, we forgot to lock Bjorn. You don't get a mule. All right, now the question is, can we handle 10? So that was seven. I don't think we can handle 10. I think if we had one more, we could probably do it. So we're almost at the point where we can clear just about any town. Well, half the towns, let's say. 100, we're for sure taking shield breaker. So we, we've got both sh uh, shield breaking perks. So we get a 40%, a 30%, and then we get a bonus for having either a two-handed axe. I don't think we get a bonus with the, the mace though, but that's fine. Actually, who's close to leveling up? No, everybody's about halfway. And then I think our education is still pretty slow. 32, so we're, we're getting there. We'll probably have enough skill to reach the next level before this progress bar goes up. So I'm curious. I, I need to do some testing and see what, what is affected by that. Because it would be kind of nice to know so we can do it a little faster. And selling everything, we get another 700. So 43k, we're pretty close to the 50k mark. Oh, nice. There's a tournament here at Akalot. Let's let it get a little bit lighter. I hate doing those in the in the dark. Another helmet. We don't need another helmet, but uh, I guess we'll take another helmet. This one looks pretty nice, though, and 100, 100 armor is really good. All right, last one. Should be a doozy here. Stab in the face, and we'll gladly snag this helmet off of you. Yeah, our helmet's 110, so it's not going to be good for us. Wow, this actually, this worse helmet is a bit more expensive, and I'm, I'm a little curious why. Because it's heavier, it's a lower tier armor, and it's less head armor. Well, let's sell this expensive one i mean might as well get some money out of it hand me down all the way to the bottom perfect and i think we'll save this one anyways because we're gonna want something for the next person we hire it was really nice starting uh helga with some 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 gear i think that helped a lot Ooh, we got way too many apples you know we do need another mule because our i've noticed inventory capacity is really a problem with this so far so we'll, we'll make sure we have max mules and we are starting to get quite a bit of money we could if we wanted to upgrade our horse I don't know if it's that big of a deal though. Yeah, these gains are, are pretty modest for the amount of extra money you have to spend to get it. This one might be worth it. It's much better maneuver and a little bit more charge damage, but man, that's pricey. 70, 7,500, that's, that's a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, I think we'll pass for now. I, I do really want to focus on grinding out some smithing. Getting some two-handed axes and two-handed pole arms would be really good. So we, we need some crafting materials. It's going to be extremely expensive to buy stuff from the store or from the shop. So I think if we can find some bandits to take out, that would probably be the best way to do it. Farm some bandits. Looks like whoever's been up here has been doing a good job clearing them out. So why don't we... Oh yeah, I was, I was hoping there was a tournament up here. We can get another Viking piece. Now this one is a Sturgeon Lance, which would be good. Uh, our companions don't have good lances. We have a decent one. Actually, this is an actual legit lance. So this one is pretty much only useful for mounted combat, which is exactly what we want. I, I think we can use this. Sweet. So we did win our lance. Man, this thing's huge. 350 length. Kind of curious. 
The only thing that annoys me about having a lance that big, it's not so much about the fighting on foot. I don't really care about that because we have another weapon to do that. Oh, I think it's worth two, two grand. I mean, look at this. This Darshi Fine Steel Spear is... 314 so this is a huge upgrade uh the annoying thing is just how much of your screen space it takes up when you're trying to fight in third person <laughs> that's that's my biggest complaint all right so Ragnvald will actually get a better spear out of that trigva yeah it looks like that's where it's gonna stop so we can uh, we can smelt this down i don't think we're gonna sell let's just smelt it and since we are spending time here already let's do that and let's craft a few things. Now, we did have two-handed mace. We don't have enough iron, though. Shoot. We could upgrade one. Yeah, let's do that. I do want to get more mace parts. We might even get a better mace out of this. Because we had some really bad debuffs on that last one. This one's not as bad. Yeah, I, this is going to be an upgrade for sure. Second starter mace. Very original, I know. All right, that should do it for now. It's almost nine hours of waiting, which is fine. I think we still have to heal up a little bit anyways. Pretty pricey. I mean, we have money, but ooh, that's pricey. Right, it says it's not an upgrade, oddly enough. It's got a little bit more blunt damage, but everything else is really bad. Wow. Yeah, it looks like our starter mace is actually pretty good. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's uh, let's buy a little bit more hardwood. Yeah, we can refine that down and smelt this thing because it sucks. Now, what happens if you switch with somebody else? I'm curious, does it still cost you? No, it doesn't interesting so everybody can go off and do their own thing and you still wait the same amount of time i guess it's probably whoever spends the most amount of time is what it bases the total hour spent so we should definitely take advantage of that sometime we don't have enough storage space in our inventory so i think what we need to do is collect a bunch of weapons and then just do it all at once if we want to be efficient obviously that's a priority for me anyways yeah, clearing here has seven. Let's go clear it out. We could get a weapon from that. We, we, anything that'll get us weapons, we want to do. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice, uh, what do they call it? The thousand yard stair or something? That guy's seen some things in his days. All right, we're looking for the clearing. Finally made it here. I got lost a little bit. <laughs> it took way longer than it should have. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him handle both of these guys. I want him to get some XP. Okay, I guess he's ignoring me. Woof. We should be Skull Splitter instead of Iron Skull, man. That guy just got cut in half. Six, we can handle that. Beautiful setting, too. We can't even barely see him coming. Oh. Well, that was a... Not a big hit we took. All right, let's let these guys get some XP out of this. I'm kind of curious to see how they handle it. Looks like they, they do favor defense. But their offense is still pretty strong. I mean, they're getting good hits in. I think somebody got hit here. Let's see who it was. Wow, Trigva with four last hits. I think everybody got hit on that, though. And I'm kind of curious to see the damage. No, nobody got hit there. Wow. Yeah, we can... I'm assuming we can take on more then, because we didn't really do anything there. So maybe we got to up our game a little bit. 18 is way too much, obviously. But actually, maybe we could if we held a choke point so they couldn't surround us. That would be interesting. Although I don't know if it's worth it, because we could lose everything. <laughs> it may not be worth... Uh, you know, experimenting with that. But we got a couple upgrades there. And let's see. What we'll do is let's hold on to the weapons. Smelting one at a time is not really efficient because all these other people are waiting. But we can we can sell at least the gear, the, the armor that we have. Okay, so we're done here. Let's go collect more weapons. I don't want to go this way because we're not going to be able to go through this way. Oh, Kranerog changed hands. So the Empire is doing pretty good. Batini is holding on. They lost Lanak Hen only. Yeah, actually that map hasn't changed all that much. Yeah, let's go Let's go do some meandering. Maybe we'll go down into the desert. We get a scout out where we're going to be. Oh, Svana again. Let's say hi. Yours is not a Jesus, you're tall. Okay, you're intimidating me. Let's get out of here. All right, made a quick stop here at Umbrella. There is eight at the back street, ten at waterfront. I think we can handle back street, no problem. Let's go do that. Interestingly enough, there's three here, and I'm not sure why. It's eight people. I, I mean, not, not that I'm concerned. We can definitely handle three at once. They're all pretty well spread out. Let's take this guy out. And we'll let you have the last one. Good defense, good splashing of the throat. I like it. Still, yeah, only six. I think a lot of that's because we took out three people just now. And you know what we could do? Let's get back in here. Can't flank us if we have no flank, right? We're all backed into this corner. Oh, good stab. Now they are gonna bunch up a bit here, so we will we will help out a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Trigva is just destroying people on this end. 
All right, two v one. How do you handle that? Well, pretty, <laughs> pretty easily actually. Oh, he took a hit, but it looked like it just bounced off him. Rigba, oh my, I think he just soloed all these people. All right, you are getting in the way, man. Let him, let him, let him get some hits. He keeps blocking Ragenvald, you greedy bastard. <laughs> He's like, save some for me. Yeah, you got three. I thought he, I thought he actually had more than that, but that was really good. And Ragenvald, one, 157, so they are still leveling up, even past the 150, so that's good. It'll be slow progress, for sure. But if we can get to maybe 200 by the end of the, the full campaign, I think that'll be a success. All right, no upgrades on anything. Let's just sell at least the gear. And then, again, we're going to hang on to all the weapons, and we'll just smelt them all at once. Again, we're collecting a bit of apples. Let's get rid of some of those. Oh, you know what? Was that the 10 or the 8? That was the 8 that we took out. Or was it 7? I don't remember. We could try the 10. 